Hello, this is Haku to be, and, and today we are going to be tumbling on r slash tumbler. Because I have spent too much time in the back rooms. I need to get back to Tumblr. I need to get back to my comfort or it's upper head. Let's get right into this. Stop with the encoding overloading. That's not what I want. Evil Input the Big where you just tell lies. This is older brothers. Well, this is actually just over older siblings. Literally, my older sisters did this to me every single, all, all, like all the time. After season four, I just can't sympathize with Joe anymore. He revealed himself to be an awful person. Wait, do you guys thought he was a good person before? I thought it was a joke. Biden? I wonder if they're talking about Swanson from Family Guy. But even then... Really? Team not actually oblivious to flirting, just terrified of, of appearing presumptuous for our present. Yes, in the balance of consideration, this person's behavior could certainly be, be interpreted as flirtatious, but be a pure as arrogance for me to just assume this they actually meant what they said. I should gather more evidence forever. Me. What's a trope name for when someone finds out they're the chosen one, TM? And is like, no thank you, and goes and does something else. Common sense. Gifted kid burnout. Refusal of the call is the actual trope name, usually followed by the tropes of the call knows where you live and you can't fight fate. <laughs> the call has tried to contact you about your destiny's extended warranty. You must answer the call. The call won't, won't, won't stop. You cannot refuse forever. You will be forced to do it one way or another. For being nice now, but eventually, you will be given an enforced tragic backstory. The meaningful life and family you built will be gone. Rick Ch Sanchez. Recently, my six-year-old daughter asked me why nobody else in the class had two moms or two dads. You know how most people write with their right hand? Yeah? Marrying a girl is like being left-handed. It's less common, but not any worse or better. Oh, that makes sense. Perfect explanation. But how am I supposed to explain this to my kids? Kids aren't stupid. Maybe you suck at explaining. Literally, the thing is, everything relating to freaking and um the LGBT flag is literally the same sort of stuff that they were doing to left-handed people in, in like the really, really old days. Hidden Valley Ranch is dropping a double ranch bottle. Tomorrow, when the farm boys find this freak of nature, they will wrap his body in a newspaper and carry him to the museum. But tonight, he is alive. He is in Northfield with his mother. It is a perfect summer evening. The moon rising over the or orchid. The wind in the grass. And as he stares into the sky, by twice as many stars as usual. Okay. Babe and I drinking from the bottle like a milkshake. <laughs> Ew.
The Antichrist came and went, but no one noticed because he wasn't worse than the current state of the world already is. The rapture followed, but no one went to heaven, so we didn't notice that either. We've been living in hell for the last five years and no one has noticed yet. Oh! I didn't realize this was a writing prompt. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell sometimes. Person. What's your favorite song? Me, with no object permanence. Uh... It's hard to choose. Person. What? So what hobbies do you have? My mind goes blank. Some guy. What's your favorite film? Me? I have never seen a film in my life. Someone? <laughs> Tell me something about... Out to yourself. Me? Sweating? Who? Quantum physics have changed that certain things change state when directly observed. In my case, I change it to a moron. Yeah, same. You want me to talk about myself. But when I try to talk my, uh, about myself, after being prompted to, I will not know who the frick I am. Actually, it kind of reminds me of, um, Bill Word's song. I went on to a podcast to talk about my memories, but I can't remember anything from before I started the show. Literally me. Oh my goodness. <coughs> Favorite slang terms for penis. Oh, this is gonna get nice and funny. Kiki wiki, long plum, bold page for fire, silent flute, gaying instrument, liver to server, 1888. What were they doing with, with them in, in that year? Master of ceremonies. Yeah, that makes sense for Christian times. Father Confessor. Quim Stick. I don't know what a quim is, and I'm afraid it might be a slur. Patootie. Oh, cutie patootie. Ambassador. <laughs> yes, I am the a a penis of the United States. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. Oh wait, isn't that just Florida? Makes sense as to why it sucks. Anyway. Kidney Buster. <laughs> Is that Dingle Doodle? Ding Wallace. Snorker. Corned Beef Torpedo. <laughs> what the hell happened in 1888? I also like to throw the timeline of slang terms for a penis. What the hell happened in 1888 and 1935? I'm noticing a distinct lack of the word chungus. Okay, shut up. No, no more of that. I am so sick and tired of the big Chungus meme. It's not funny. It's actually lame. Me. Yeah, after I frick. I'm blocking everyone who reblogged this and deleted my caption. Yeah, I delete your caption too. Screw you. Bro, this is not basketball. This is literally the 92 Bulls. Michael Jordan did not have Death Grace cut him out of his hand. It's called a fadeaway jumper. No! No! This is an anime! This has to be an anime with like freaking a... Trans flag pointing at you. No JK Rowling. You hate JK Rowling. Raise a glass to that. I do too. Who doesn't? <laughs> if you squish me, I shall become famous. They will hold an annual day of remembrance in my honor, you fat slob. Does anyone here know why we celebrate National Stupid Day? 
Garfield caused a controversy a decade ago by publishing this on Veterans Day. Based. My. I have to make this go away. I don't get your romantic types. How do you not I see love as nothing more than parasocial pathetic infatuation that just makes you overly weak and emotional. Generally, I tried out the, this whole love thing. All it did was make me disgusted at my ex for how simple-minded and one-dimensionally affectionate they were. Just mindless affection that numbs away the brain. It's so hollow and empty. No substance to a real personality at all. Sorry about your breakup, but thanks for the unhinged ass, I guess. And anyway, I had so much fun making out with my boyfriend this weekend. Who dubbed Severod? <laughs> and if Severod is that much of an insult, I'd dumb him too. I'm not on Twitch. I think I can say that, that word. I've heard it said many times on YouTube, actually. Does anybody else think, think tired and sleepy mean totally... Two totally different things. Sleepy is cute and dozing off. But tired is ten cups of coffee and murder. Reblogging because this last graphic is flawless. Literally. So me. Why do you look so sad? What's wrong? Why do you look mad? And what are you mad about? I promise you I'm barely conscious of anything I'm doing with my face at any given time. Please stop commenting on it. Literally. And I get this from my own mom. Oh no. There's the reason these videos are always the long ones. Not just because I like template. The sun rises over Earth in a postcard illustrated by Soviet cosmonaut Alexei, Al Alexei Leonov, recalling the 1965 mission when he became the first human to walk in space. Alexei Leonov was a prolific and talented artist and drew many pictures inspired by his experiences in space. I feel like I've done this one before, but we're going to continue. This particular picture is a rather special, although, because he, he drew the first draft of it while in space using colored pencils he took with him. Wait. Do colored pencils actually work in space? I kind of thought, you know, no gravity would uh, uh, affect that a lot more. The first walk in space concluded with coincided with the first art in space. Humans literally can't not do art. Wait, hold on a minute. I think I need a moment. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. I need a moment. I need to sit down. I think. Wait, wait. Oh, wait. Please, I break it down. Hold on. Wait. Yeah, you're pretty obsessed with art. <coughs> hmm. How is it 2023 and nobody's come up with a satisfying explanation as to why cell phones never show up in our dreams if we're using them for 12 hours a day? I'm sorry, I've had many nightmares with cell phones involved. I've literally had a freaking and nightmares where, like, I woke up, it was way too uh, uh, dark, I couldn't turn on my light, I couldn't even get my cell phone's flashlight to work. And it was like, what the heck, why I, I am I, I forced to be here, and then I woke up. So, you're actually factually wrong, because I've had cell phones in my dreams before. There's never use it for actual cell phone things. Because I never do that in real life either. Satanic manufacturing cannot appear in the realm of God. Yeah, I'll go ahead and, and, integrate, and integrate that into my belief system. 
<clears throat> People with siblings are so genuinely scary. They're just constantly asking you things like, You never played 3 Minute at Eye Gouge as a kid? You never played Fireplace Chase? You never played Actual Serial, serial Killer? Wait, hang on. You're watching this video. If you don't have siblings, tell me, did you ever er, er, play actual serial killer with your er, siblings? I mean, I mean, with your friends? You never played Three Minute Eye Gouge. Or Fireplace Chase. Or Zoo. My sisters used to play Zoo. It was very entertaining. Only problem was that I was exhibit and they, looked, and they would look at me like some animal. That's a fun game. I played that so many times. I'm crying and laughing at this. <laughs> Why is a dead wife so common as a backstory for male heroes? When divorce exists, and it's 10,000% funnier. Ever since I lost my wife, I swore I would push myself to become the greatest hero the city has ever seen. Still not taking you back, Jared. Well, fuck you too, Stacy. I guess I don't have to scroll in the future. Computer. Good responses to getting stabbed with a sword. Rude. That's fair. Not again. Are you gonna want this back or can I keep it? Spider Man. Do you make these moon things yourself, or do you order them special? Those are mine. I thought you threw them at, at, at me. Now they're mine. How old are you? So that's me of this from the comic books. <laughs> I wonder if I'm getting to be able to read this. No. Okay, cool. I love when the Wi-Fi goes slow, don't you? Because this is some alone time I'm to just awkwardly have some silence. I found a bed frame that looks like something out of Star Trek The Next Generation. After it says having storages, massage, password, or strong box, absurd piece of th furniture. I honestly want something that's similar to this. Ridiculous! Absurd! I absolutely must have one! Tempur-Pedic Chrysler 300. This is the only piece of furniture you get in your Starfleet Academy dorm. Shouldn't that be the only furniture you really need? Like, look, it even has, like, a place for you to put your, like, phone or your tablet or whatever. Okay, you have a massage chair on your bed. Do you really actually sleep in the bed or do you just sleep here? It's supposed to be a bed frame, but, like, it looks so comfortable. That's actually beautiful. I love that. My brain, having about done like a toddler, I just can't do it. I don't want to. I can't. Me. Parenting my tired toddler brain. Take a deep breath. It's going to be okay. We don't have to do everything today. That's overwhelming in you. 
Let's pick the most important thing to work on, okay? What's the smallest step we can do to work towards that? My toddler brain, wiping away tears. Um, I think we should open up the important spreadsheet and look at the first row. Great, let's do that. And then we can have a popsicle, okay? My toddler brain nods through drying tears, upset but cooperative. Literally how I parent myself. United States average jeans colors for state 2018. How the frick do you even get data like this? If you click, click through to the source, which is Reddit, you can see that in many cases you don't, don't need any data at all. You can just retitle a population map and delete your account while ask for source. Hope this helps. Makes sense. Oh gosh. <sighs> oh no, I have to read this. Neville has always been brave. I don't know how to pronounce the name. Don't come at me. Neville will stir up Ar to arguably the most famous person he know. He knew and risked sacrificing even more social relation by telling on Harry and his friends. Neville dared to fight both her, her Ione and Harry because he, he caught them sneaking off after hours and didn't want Gryffindors to be punished for it. Neville takes on both Crab and Goyle in a fight, standing up for himself, Ron, and his house. Neville oh, sneaks out to warn Harry and Ione about Draco's plot to catch them freeing the orbit. Neville is the first to stand up to his greatest fear in boggart form, and is successful in doing so. Neville defends Harry against and Seamus, where the entire wizarding community was convinced he was a fake. Neville is the first to sign up for the DA, and makes a great improvement in, in his magic. Neville not only saw his parents torture, but relives it by regularly visiting them in St. Mungo's. Mungo's. Neville is, is one of the first volunteers to go with Harry to find Sirius. Is. Neville, nose broken and heavily bleeding, Carrie is... Hermione himself instead of leaving her behind. Neville leaves the rebellion and efforts, reinstating DA in an environment that would mean certain torture if he was found out. Neville defies Voldemort and pulls out a Godric Gryffindor sword. Neville kills the last Horcrux right in front of Voldemort. Neville Longbottom, but of all the jokes, was mocked, disregarded, and considered annoyance. By most, if not all of Hogwarts, the veil Longbottom, who suffered and and school was humiliated, not only by his teachers and his peers, came back to Hogwarts year after year after year. The veil Longbottom never quit potions, despite his great fear being his own potions teacher. The veil Longbottom never stopped doing what he thought was right, even when facing death. The veil Longbottoms, Longbottom has always been brave. I don't watch Harry Potter. And I absolutely don't read the books because I'm not... Because honestly, I think that the author of those books is actually objectively a bad author. And I just never got into them because of that. Guys, I'm going to make a hot take. The whole 
I wish I could be a woman, but instead I'm stuck with my stupid gross husband or boyfriend. Sentiment I see repeated in bi circles is just a progressive queer version of the boomer I hate my wife jokes. If he's stupid and gross, you should leave him. And if he isn't, you're just being cruel for internet points, and he should leave you. I agreed. The brightly colored ski jeans that teens wore in the late a, a, a 2000s, early 2010s were meant to denote where you stood in gang hierarchy. Salmon was the highest rank and meant you had killed someone. I think the funniest part of this is that if you'd flowed this idea at the time, at least some parents would have believed you. Literally, the schools literally had freaking rules where you couldn't wear a hood. Because they thought it would make you like gang related or some nonsense like that. Or they, they didn't let you wear or like shirts that were like a single color with no design or even with a design on them. Particularly red or blue because they were like, no, 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 that, that, that that's gang colors. And they did this the most in little nowhere towns that don't have gangs. Like, you're going to your freaking tiny-ass town off the highway, and there's no gang ang ang activity whatsoever. Unless you count the cops. And then you go to school in your freaking bright blue sweatshirt, and then and your teacher, and then, like, a teacher or somebody comes up to you and is like, Hey, I know I'm getting, getting paid $3.00. Or is or is a a year, but you need to change your shirt. It's just that ridiculous because of something that happens in cities that are nowhere near here. A group of misfits turned close friends, a leader who brought them together and routinely puts them all in danger. This is literally Persona Five. I'm the idiot leader. <laughs> And yes, I put my friends in danger by letting them control themselves. That's the most dumbest and dangerous thing I've done. And it actually almost screwed me over in the Okumura fight. It actually did screw me over once or twice. I already accept a live action road to Elder Auto a movie if it's directed by Taika Watiti. Bye. Do you have any idea how much chaotic a gay energy a movie like that would have? The correct amount! Yes. We need more gay energy in movies. I am sick of... ...of them not having that. It probably turned main characters gay. Actually, that'd be good. Dream on getting crushed in kindergarten. I dreamt last night I was in kindergarten, albeit with no memories of my past life or how, how I got there. We were in a class where the desks had giant flowers and fields next to them. Our assignment was to collect and document the flowers. I remember thinking to myself, this would be rough for anyone with allergies. I, mean, I had already collected my flower and had them in my notebook. I was Sitting next to someone who was telling me about how they both collected their flowers and wrote about them. I remember panicking as I had only collected the flowers. I had not written anything about them. I was about to quickly begin writing again my notebook to complete the assignment when the teacher walked in. In this dream, I remember really hating this teacher as he was quite mean to me. He came all the way to the back of the class where I was situated, so I couldn't continue writing. He then apparently stepped on me in my dream. I was sitting at my desk the entire time, so I couldn't see anything else. And I felt like my entire body was being crushed. It was very uncomfortable. He then and said he was going to start marking the assignments, starting from the back of the class. I remember feeling quite frustrated at this, as he was singling me out. I handed him my notebook, and he put in his portable iPad that he used to mark the assignments. 
I'm glad to have more his iPad crashed or something. And he was quite exasperated at how this happened. My classmate sitting next to me offered for me to actually go first and offer their notebook to who the teacher's iPad, which began working. The teacher had no had no choice but to let me go as he he then had to go through everyone else in the back before coming back to me. I remember being relieved as I could hopefully properly finish my assignment until then. Dream. Posts from a weirder timeline. I dreamed a dream. <laughs> I'm just... Just imagine just... This guy just stepping on, on you oh, 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 in a freaking dream. That's terrifying. I remember having a dream about school once. Well, about a teacher. Not really school because it happened in my house. And I was frustrated because I had to do so much freaking work and I didn't know how to do it and nobody would, would help me. Because nobody else knew how to do it and the teacher was just not uh, doing it because they were being mean. It was really interesting. Then I woke up and I was like, what the heck? It's hard to think horses were ever prey animals because what freaking predator looks at an 8 foot tall, enormous beast with pitch black devil's eyes, terrifying, Link teeth and extremely powerful legs and think, think yeah let's go attack that one <laughs> well moose are still prey animals so that's fucked up a moose is like a horse with extra weapons would you rather they be predators shit 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 i'm so sorry it's like you just got that uh, a question from a booming voice in the sky. Would you rather they be? Yeah, I can't do it. I don't have the effects. Hamara is just straight up one of the weirdest people imaginable. Like, forget about the time I'm live tragic, doomed romance for a bit. I want to see what it looks like if she wins and actually tries romance. Autoka. She has a massive collection of illegal firearms. She builds her own bombs. She lives in an ultra modernist white box apartment that she's decorated with a couch made of, of concentric circles. A giant swinging knife pendulum to remind her of her, of the ever present flow of time, and a wall of several dozen screens. She communicates primarily in vague and ominous warnings and is more or less incapable of saying anything directly. She addresses everyone she meets by their full name with no honorific, which comes across as bizarre and intimidating. If you count time loop years, she's 26. She was raised in a, in a Catholic orphanage. I want to see her take Adoka out on a horrifically bad date and cry in the bathroom part way through, but she realized she's fucking up. This is why Madoka is the ideal partner for or or Omura. Madoka meets a corkscrew who had blonde who's holding rifles, jumping into void portals to fight paper or mache nightmare man infestations, and set fleeing to the nearest authority authority figure early in about a week. She is down to enlist herself in the shadow games of an ex it's at least it fit or I have nothing better to do who hit eek. Homero would take her on a first date to a bomb ring string gallery in space where the targets are crucified porcelain dolls. That would be Madoka's new favorite game in five minutes. No one has ever been down for literally anything the way Madoka is. Yeah, that's pretty true. Oh yeah, by the way, this is um these are characters from Madoka Magica, which is a, a deceptively a, a, a cute anime. Well, sorry, it's off cute. Then a main character gets her head bitten off, so that's why I say it's deceptively cute. Because it goes dark really fast. Anyway, next one. Oh, this is about JoJo. I never watched JoJo. I can't. I just can't. I don't like the art style. I don't like what they do in the show. It's just not my thing. I think if JoJo dialogue even vaguely resembled the way real humans speak, it would detract so much from the experience. 
One thing Ar Ariki mentions in this book is that people tell him that the dialogue in JoJo is distinctive, and he's like, no, that's just how I talk in real life. Reminder! Jolene, what's the opposite of pork? Not pork. Opposite? Not pork. Chicken or maybe beef? Opposite of pork is salmon. A pig lives late easily, but salmon opposes the river is current and conquers it. I like it! If the lunch lady from Stone Ocean was a sand user, she would have handled it. This passes the Vecto. The Ibecto test. No, that is just how I talk. It's how I talk in real life. This is impossible. You're saying he talks like this in real life. Then that can't be true. It has to be made up or some kind of fairy tale. Whatever this is right from me. It's impossible to deny. These comments are killing me. <laughs> so, uh, the creator of JoJo talks like that in real life. I can see it. Which is sexier, a werewolf or a vampire? Depends if you find it sexier to submit to the will of the of charismatic evil, or to be overwhelmed by animalistic power. And that's not a decision I can make for you. What's your vote, everyone? Charismatic evil vampire, or animalistic power, or animalistically powerful a werewolf? Okay, this has to be the last one. We are going really long in this. When we started, it was like a like a gang to around eleven or so. Wait, really? It's only been half an hour. So we have to end this soon. Oh, it's a political one. Perfect. It's so funny to me that conservative ever think the reason university students become more liberal is because of the actual course material and not like the fact that universities in the US introduce are oftentimes the first place Americans are introduced to a walkable environment with affordable health care, with community spaces for any affiliation under the sun where they give you free resources and cheap food, with include public transit and opportunities for training in your field of choice. And you realize that for how much you are spending on tuition or taxes, yeah, you do deserve these things. It would be insane to not have those. And then you graduate and go back to having to buy a car to tr drive 20 minutes to the grocery store. Crazy. Universities are what uh, uh, the American experience is supposed to be like. And then you go back into the real world and uh, the American experience has been robbed to you by boomers. It's also one of the first places I've met a lot of people raised in other conservative areas meet the other. People of other ethnicities and cultures, people of other religions, other gender presentations, sexualities, etc. You get to know them and start realizing how much of what you knew about them was myth or straight up propaganda. It's a lot harder to demonize Caribbean when the person helping you pass calculus is a trans woman, or your lot partner talks about her his boyfriend exactly the same way you talk about yours. It's a lot harder to believe that immigrants are out to get you when your Hindu roommate cheerfully shares a cake, air package of homemade goodies from um, um home, or or Malia down the hall covers your lunch because you forgot to bring your wallet to study group. You start rethinking some assumptions when a six foot, a spike encrusted goth who sits behind you in lecture or hall shows photos of his baby niece dressed like a puppy for Halloween, with all the pride of a new parent. And you remember when your flat animal and camel wearing uncle did the same thing at work last year with photos of your little sister. Suddenly, all those other people are just people. They're your friends, classmates, co-workers, and maybe even romantic interests. And that's a lot harder to hate or fear. Basically, go to university. If you're having a hard time not viewing other people as uh, things to hate and fear, then you need to go to university. 
Okay, we're going to do this last one. Do you ever miss your own energy? Like, damn, what happened to me? Alright. This has been Tumbling with Haku on r slash Tumblr. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!